Hey people of the Interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Now, time to convi convenue our in intestication. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go talk to... Old Bag about the whole frickin' situation. Hi. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Yeah, might as well have. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. You sure the Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eh! Alright, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired Cretan! Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Um, uh, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Huh? She's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are like... Oh, okay. And she's out of here. <laughs> okay. Well, look, this is our chance to do what we can... Well, we can without her looking over, without her looking over our shoulders. I can't speak without stuttering. Let's see. The computer, maybe? The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we could see that photo of Powers with the computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yeah, why not? Okay, let's give it a shot. You know how to work these things, Nick. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see. First I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Uh... It's a, 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 370! There. Entered. Nothing happened. Huh. Maybe I got the wrong number. <sighs> Maybe we should go look at the camera again. What? Nah! I could do it. Try it. 307. There. Enter. Hey, you printed out the day, the data for the day. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Well, I mean, that's a steel samurai, but that's definitely not uh, Will Powers. Unless he shaved his hair and then replaced, they grew the hair back within a few hours or something. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why I, the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 p.m. Photo number two. Number two? What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day. Nope, that's the only one on the computer. Where's the first one? Hey, hey, Nick! Can't we use the photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put the security lady in her place with this. Right. 
That's what we'll do. Hey, that's what I said. Oh, well, okay. I wasn't going to repeat that. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Oh, for the love of... Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, I was just joking. So, are we done for today? I guess? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. If that's it, then I should have just finished this. Oh my god. If that's it, then we're going into the trial five minutes into the video. Maybe it really is that security lady. The picture doesn't look like the security lady, but who knows? Well, those of you who played the game know. I know, I'm just saying. I want to save on the second one. Alright, let's do this. October 18th, 10 a.m., District Court number 4. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. I can't avoid yawning, apparently. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call the most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Okay. Again. Detective, if you would briefly describe the case to the court. Yes, sir. I explain. I'll explain with this guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. Mm -hmm. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Okay, so when she told us to go left, she meant the employee area, not the studios. Cool. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Uh-huh. Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman... The product production assistant. Hold on, that can't be true. Because they're both actors. If actors are there working, then there has to at least be a... Uh, th that's that's impossible. There has to at least have been a... Uh, forget the name. I feel like an idiot. A director. There has to be at least a director there. Probably a producer as well. That, that, it wouldn't make sense for it just to be the actors. Then, after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. And after that, the security lady got to the guards. You just... You literally just proved yourself wrong. You said there were only three people there, and you just listed a fourth person. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. Time of death was 2.30pm. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. 
That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? No. <laughs> hmm. Should I listen to that whole thing again? No! No! Why couldn't you just put yes or no? I think I could probably remember that. Probably? So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Samurai spear added to the court record. Your Honor. Your Honor. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? <laughs> My, aren't you a handsome fellow? Oh, God. I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Your name, please. Oh, dearie. No need for you to be so embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Oh, Lord. No! Your name, please! Seems Edrith has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Windy old bag, dear. So just call me Grandma. Oh, okay. No! Objection! Uh, objection! I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness will s Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, he yeah, was. And I get And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had, be had been doing a run-through there since the morning. I, well... I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until five. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at two o'clock p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. That's very vague. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Hold on. I want to be safe than sorry. Wait, is this the one I want to be doing? No, yeah, duh! Where I saved once! Okay, so... Poor hammer in the room. Anyway. I th think this is where I present this. Yep. Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, Miss Old Bag. <laughs> You'd been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than Miss Steel Samurai, Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course, didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Really? 
Yes, it's powers if he shaved his entire head. No, they can't. Um, well, I mean, I wonder. Edgeworth. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. Clearly. <laughs> no one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old dag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Huh. Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. Oh, really? What? <laughs> Both of us are shocked. <laughs> Prosecution. The prosecution would like to ask the old, the witness, <laughs> please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How, how was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. I mean, being quote unquote nosy is part of their job, <laughs> to an extent. In the game, it's definitely part of their job. Anyway. I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give, a sec give it a second look. Wow. Old Windbag has left even Edra speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. We're just flying through this. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at the picture. Him dragging his leg. Okay. Okay! That's how I know it was Powers. Happy. No. Who else was that? It could have been anybody who was there. You were there. Powers was there. Hammer was there. I mean, I think... Yeah, I think it was just those three, wasn't it? Like, shown in the image, those are the three shown who were there. You, Powers, and Hammer. It could have been any of you three. Hmm. So he sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Well, that gives away what I'm supposed to do. Thanks. <sighs> um. Whippersnapper! Hey, I haven't even said anything yet. I have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everyone, everything I've said is on the straight and narrow. Oh, for the love of... Okay. Mr. Wright... Please, for all our sakes, try not to s upset the witness. Yeah. <laughs> I, lo I love how Wright and I are doing the exact same thing, basically. <laughs> that was not intentional, by the way. <laughs> that morning, during the run-through of the action scene... I'M NOT LETTING YOU FINISH THAT STATEMENT! <laughs> Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see. It was Powers, he's the still samurai, the poor old hammer, the evil magistrate, and me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run-through then. I saw Powers trip and fall. Didn't she tell you this as well last time? In the last episode, I'm pretty sure she told us this. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. No, stop it! Trip and fall? Sprain his ankle? Yes. And to think he's supposed to be the steel samurai? What a laugh. Oh, f Take one of these. Get out. Bang! <laughs> Take my fuck you gun. 
I was ready to think. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? What'd you do, kiss his ankle? Kiss it where it hurt. L let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke a prop. Sure did. His own samurai spear. Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. Got it. Duct tape fixes everything, man. It strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Fair enough. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Okay. Was Mr. Powers' ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. That's the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is this steel samurai, steel samurai costume now? Oh, uh, actually, well, we couldn't find it. If it was Powers, don't you think you would be able to find it? He's kind of dim-witted up here. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes? And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Pro Powers. Ah, uh, bio biology goes against that. Hmm. I suppose that's right. You're idiots. You're all idiots! I object! Hold it right there. Keep talking possibilities, but we have it. We have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in the photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider the possibility also. Oh boy. What do you got? What do you, what do you, what do you have to say? Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else was there. If they had, I would have seen them. We've already covered this. That's not Will Powers. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this steel samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, we know this. The person I saw go to is Will Powers, blah, blah, blah. No one else went there. Am I just to show the image again? This is not... That's not Will Powers! Ah! Objection. Yep. <laughs> Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate from the for the studios, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, he's sunny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here, I thought you didn't know your head from your hole in the ground. What, do you take me for a dodo bird or something? Just stick my head, head in pretty much every hole I see? And just in the dirt as well? What the hell? Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if, I, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. 
that very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. Oh, I see where you're getting at, Phoenix. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is a bit at the end where it says photo number two. <laughs> that's a two. That's that's totally not a one and a half. That's totally me not flipping off the game, the game's character at all. <laughs> photo number two. Computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's a bit odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Order, order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Really? Do I have to? <laughs> well, since I'm doing the same positioning as Wright today, let me back up a little bit. Wait. <laughs> Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two, we're showing a lot of twos today. <laughs> Two people went to the studio that day. Yet, yeah, there is only data for one of the photos. We could have erased the data for the other fo the other photo. Only someone with access to the security lady herself. Eeh! You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. Oh, really? Then what was the other photo? But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes. That's what it would seem to me. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, I, I don't understand these new fangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what that this means either. Help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Old Day? Ah, uh, that's right. I I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate, someone other than the steel samurai. Uh, well yes, I suppose you could put it in that way. Either they did or they didn't. Come on. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have only I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the secret on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see? Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Really? M Miss Oldbag! This is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Of what?! Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> At this point, yeah. <laughs> Another job. That's right. I checked the people that passed by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Okay. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces. For the most part. I mean, yes and no. This is a murder trial, Miss Oldbag. Well, I didn't touch a, 
that suspicious look in Willpower's photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Every bit of information counts. That's Phoenix's point right there. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Come to think of it? She think of that a little earlier? That's a gold bin bag. Might be a useful tactic to remember for use in my future career as a windbag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maya! <laughs> oh, for the love of... I did not mean to do it that time. I did not mean to do it the first time! Alright. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? A fanboy. A fanboy? Still samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Wait a sec. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Or, sorry. Let's do this properly. Though Ah! Those were your words. I have to back up so freaking far to do that. Well... If you must know, there's a drain in that goes into the employee area. Oh, that's true. The grate had, has been loose for a while. It needs outside, and well, that's where they come in. Wouldn't you consider maybe, I don't know, fixing it or blocking it? They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids? So, on the photo you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. Well. Order. Order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studio that day. One was the steel samurai and dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes. Well we see him. We see his type every three days. No, three times a day. I don't know. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade? Hmm. I sure it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him mine. much mind. That's why he raised the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. All right. All right. Mr. Powers. Yes? Tell me straight. Tell me straight. Were you really in the dress in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So who was the sam Steel Samurai in the security photo? How should I know? Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this lead me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. 
start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done it. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, you might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. I am! <laughs> hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edger, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on the matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years old. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there's still no one else that could have committed this crime. Bull, I say! Bull! I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, for the defendant Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claims. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Obviously not the boy, because there's no way he can lift the spear. But there are three people there. Three. Who potentially could. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. They're gonna make it bluntly obvious, I'm pretty sure. The assistant? No, no, the assistant, no. She wasn't even there to see that Will Powers' ankle had broken. It wasn't her. Grade school boy can't even lift the weapon. The only optional, the only one that makes sense here is the security lady. It was the security lady. Windy old bag. Who? Steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew already that morning's, who knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. Security lady, old bag. What? Whippersnapper! Order! Order! I is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal a steel samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in her co if she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Ooh, yeah! Right here, Sherlock Holmes too, baby! That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? Prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it. Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something. It's my move. Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. Do it. Why the hell not? The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? 
forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. Indeed. I did it! Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings. I hope. Ha! <laughs> Wait, just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. The one whose photo I erased. He can't lift the spear! He's only a grade schooler, though. As you said, second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? There's no way the grade school student would do that. He's a fan of the Steel Samurai. Why would he do that? Kids are... Most kids are not stupid enough to think TV is reality. The boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders, Dave? Whippersnapper! I have proof. P proof? Indeed. And let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. Just in case I F up. Uh, card key. The card key. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> The windbag? Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cool. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy... What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. <laughs> I love how the judge remembers her first name and Edgeworth, Edgeworth remembers her last name. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Cool. What? I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. We're all shocked. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. By who? Huh. You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. Of course we're not done. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to get go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Oh! Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. I don't believe that for a split second. I'm sorry, I don't believe that. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. When is the power of the old bag? <laughs> I love how everyone's ripping on her. <laughs> RIP ON THE OLD BAG! Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, let's see. Mr. Hughes wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some of- Who? Who were these other people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. You can't have a run scene without a director and a producer. You have to have them there. 
Well, at least the director. We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run? I just said this! I've been saying this for since the beginning of the freaking- ah! Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in an employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Where? Sorry, that's not his... Studio 2? There was a stu... Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. Right there. I'm trying to point at it. There, like that, yeah. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. No, that would be right. On the picture it's left, but IRL it's right, you dope. The path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... To what? I want to be safe. I'm going to say no. No, don't do that again! Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and, er, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hope that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag. And more information about these other people we have just been told off of. I understand, Your Honor. He sends the day's prosecution. Proceedings, proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. Okay. Well, that went better than he expected. I can say that much. Three hours, huh? Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right. As I was right to ask you as my defense to defend me. I can't speak. Oh, really? It's nothing. Blushes. <laughs> or, oh, or should I? We'll be going now. We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about the director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who it was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Y yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying them back. I was just buying time back there. I was just time. Ta! Ha! Huh? I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old Windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Yeah, well, eh. <laughs> Water under the bridge. <laughs> well, she wasn't winning any points in there. With or without my accusations. Yeah, it's true. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to see you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to leave this video here. This did go a little bit longer just because, again, I didn't realize that we were so close to actually doing the trial. So I just went through the whole trial anyway. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me? Just let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any footage I've done in the past or I'm currently working on now, click the box down over there. Or, if you want to check out the rest of this playlist, uh, click the box across from my head over here. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time.
Bye.